My hair started to do this thing in the back where it like floofs up and I'm actually really happy with the length of my hair right now, but at the same time, I really don't want to look like Farrah Fawcett. What's up you guys, welcome to my happy place. So I realized that it is technically like 1 a.m. right now when I'm filming this. So technically it is not the day as I film this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a pass because I'm doing it. I'm filming the video. I just didn't have a whole lot of time today, but it counts. I'm gonna go ahead and say it counts. As long as I am awake, it's the same day. And getting used to posting at off-peak hours is part of this challenge. Anyways, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about in this video today, so I kind of looked around my room wildly for something to discuss, and I found this little statue. This little statue is a statue of Moses, and you can see it says Mose at the bottom, and I got it when I was on a trip to Rome. This statue is my favorite statue from the Renaissance. It was made by Michelangelo. Um, I say favorite statue from the Renaissance like I have a top 10 list, but uh, it's my favorite statue from the Renaissance because it has a pretty interesting story behind it. Some of you may have heard at some point the idea that Jews have horns. For those of you who haven't heard of this concept, don't worry about it, it's not important. Um, but it was perpetuated by this statue. So this statue was made by Michelangelo, who was by all accounts a genius. Um, and being a genius, and probably very bored because it was like the 1400s and he didn't have a whole lot to do, except for like you know, pissing off the Pope. But because it was the 1400s and he didn't have a lot to do and he wanted to make this sculpture, he decided that he was not just going to read the Bible passage about Moses, he was going to read the original Bible passage in its original Hebrew. And when Michelangelo went to go read that original passage, he did a good job in translating it for the most part. And uh, you have to give the guy credit for that much. But he screwed up on a very crucial detail. When Moses comes down from Mount Sinai in the Torah, there is a very specific phrase used for his facial features. The Torah uses the words carne or, which literally translate to rays of light. The idea was that uh, the holy light was shining off of his face. But the words carne or are actually homophones for two very different words, and that's where Michelangelo made his mistake. Carne or, depending on its spelling, can either mean rays of light or it can mean horns of an animal. And so Michelangelo read this and I guess was just like, huh, I guess Jews have horns. And then he made the statue and put horns on Moses. And so since then, there was a somewhat prevailing theory because the statue of Moses was honestly probably the only Jew that most Italians had seen at the time, that Jews have horns. And this is exacerbated by the fact that we wear a yarmulke and the yarmulke is supposed to cover up the horns. And the reality is that that couldn't be less true. We only have horns during our mating season. And that's it. I just wanted to tell you a story about my favorite statue, it's Moses. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming out with a video once a day, every day, for the next 26 days. I'm hopefully going to keep to that schedule. From my happy place, I'm Zach. Now go away. No matter where